Recently, I've been thinking a lot about why we seem to almost arbitrarily put off or push back our goals or the things that we're wanting to do or to start to do to the next Monday or in three, four, five days, weeks, months, or even years. And yes, there can be times where it makes sense to strategically wait. But for the most part, I think it is an arbitrary choice. We could very easily start the thing today. We could very easily change the habit that we're wanting to in this moment, or at least in the next available moment, which is most likely going to be that day as compared to some distant point in the future. And yes, in this case, I would say a handful of days is the distant future. Upon sitting down and really trying to think about this and to consider the times where I've done this and I've found myself falling in and out of the same kind of pattern, the same kind of trap for this idea, this ideal of everything before this defined time period up to let's say the next Monday meant nothing and I was different. And so then moving forward in this next Monday, things will be completely renewed and I will be an enlightened being of sorts so that I can absolutely 100% complete whatever I need to absolutely without any possibility for relapse or any possibility for an adjustment or any need for a sense of flexibility. Something that I heard recently, which was really, really interesting to kind of tie together into this video is something that is around addiction. From what I've heard, the saying goes like this, relapse is a part of recovery. And when I heard that, it, it struck an interesting chord in my mind because the thoughts that I've been having about this is that it's not so much about trying to make a D-Day, like this is the last day where this is ever going to happen again and there is no room for any kind of exception. I feel like when we do that, each moment that we might find ourselves tripping up, we revert ourselves as if we are no longer wanting to do that goal or we are no longer in that stage of doing the goal. And what that means is that we can then decide, ah, well, I've already messed it up. So what's the harm in doing the rest of the day or the rest of the week or until the next Monday or next arbitrary period under the previous mindset or under the previous standards that we set for ourselves. Whereas if we are able to understand that this is just the timeline of our life, it is a continuum that is always moving forward, is always changing, is always developing. And if we can recognize that there is a certain set of standards that we want to hold for ourselves, then even in the moments where we slip up, that will help us to prevent any further slip ups or further snowballing effects that might come as a result of a mistake. Because at the end of the day, all it was was really a mistake. It wasn't the end of the world. It wasn't the crushing of your new identity or of this renewed sense of purpose and direction in your life. It was just one misstep that can lead you down a very slippery slope if you let it. Now, this might sound quite basic and routine and just common sense to a lot of you. And that's because it is. It has taken me probably a little bit longer than I would have liked you to being able to articulate it in this way. But now that I'm here, I think it's really interesting the way that I'm framing my day to day and the things that I'm doing, because instead of having that dichotomy of before and after this integration of myself and my goals and my habits has meant that it's been a lot easier to stick to the things that I'm doing. It's been a lot easier to recognize that things don't have to be perfect. It's helped me to embolden other lessons that I've learned as compared to falling into, as I was saying, these traps, these traps that 
hold us back and won't allow us to fully engage into the lives that we're wanting to live and as the people that we're wanting to be. The ethos of this channel and of the videos and content more generally that I make is to do more than you think you can. And if we aren't able to accept and acknowledge that sometimes we're not going to hit the mark and sometimes things aren't going to work out and we might unfortunately not quite do as well as we were hoping and it doesn't turn out the way that we wanted to. If we aren't able to accept that as reality, then we aren't going to be able to properly achieve our potential and to max out whatever capabilities we may be able to possess in the future, which would then unfortunately mean that we wouldn't be able to be our very best selves, not only for our own benefit, but for the benefit of those around us, those we love and care for and want to support and provide for. Because at the end of the day, that's what we're doing this for. That's why we're choosing to develop and progress ourselves in these kinds of ways to be able to give back and to hopefully leave the world a better place than we found it. So if you resonated with anything that was said here and you're wanting to surround yourself with more like-minded individuals that talk about these kinds of topics and issues, then in my humble opinion, one of the best places you can go is our new recently created Discord server where we're able to have a little bit more of a one-to-one -one interaction and feedback and dialogue and conversation as compared to me just talking to a camera. So if that interests you, the link will be in the description. And if you're wanting to follow my more daily kind of movements and updates on different things, then I'll put my Instagram down there as well. But that's all I have for you today. So, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for being here, and do more than you think you can.